Good morning. Uh, today I was reading in 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. I absolutely love it. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory and are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory, glory which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Another version that talks about being as transformed from glory to glory. Um, it's beautiful because that's what it's about. It's about us becoming more and more like him as we go along. And be patient with yourself in your journey with God. I heard today, I was listening to Matt Chandler, and he was talking about how a lot of us know about God, but do we truly know him? And that's what this thing's about. He, he's a pastor in Texas. And he used an example of a guy named James Smith. I love it. Because he's saying that there's such thing as impersonal knowledge and then there's personal knowledge. And he, he says, he starts reeling off about this guy, James Smith. He says, you know, James is retired. He's got seven grandkids, three kids. He's got a wife that he loves. He's been married to for 40 years. Um, he goes to the city to have high tea with his granddaughter. He has a labradoodle named Oliver who, um, who was wild and out, so he got Oliver fixed. Um, he's a conservative and starts naming off all this stuff. And then, he, then Matt Chandler says, I don't know James at all, right? Um, I went on my wife's Facebook and I looked up what's the most popular name and James Smith came up for a man. So I looked on his Facebook and found all this out. Um, and he goes, that is how a lot of us are with God, is that we can get this impersonal knowledge about God, but do we really know him? Does he really know us? Do we have a relationship with him? And that's where the transformation happens in our life is when we know him and we submit our lives to him and we see the beauty of who he is. <clears throat> I love the idea <clears throat> of if you can read in John, there's the I am statements. I think there's seven of them throughout, you know, and he, he tells you who he is. Um, so when we understand who he is, that's the beauty. Not just what he does, but who he is. Uh, pursue that. Understand who the, who, who the one you say you follow is. And when we get down to that, that's the thing that really changes us. Because he's beautiful. And so often people misrepresent the, the beauty of who Christ is. You know, here he is being tortured and being crucified on the cross. And he's crying out, forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. You know, that's something that we can't relate to because we're so rooted in self. But he is unconditional love. That's what he manifests everywhere he goes. On the day he's going to be crucified, he is washing the feet of his disciples and loving them in that place. Right? It's amazing. The unconditional love of God is the thing that's going to transform us and change us. When we get the love of God, that's the thing that changes us forever. That changed his disciples, being filled with the Spirit of God and, and doing all that they did, even to death. Um, anyway, God bless y'all. I got a meeting at 7. Talk to you later. <laughs>